Z12 to Z18 in this area. Now what these jumpers do is that they control the keying of an external radio via the two um, available connectors which is SSR1 and SSR2. So we have the option of either using SSR1 or SSR2 to key a radio modem before sending a message from any of the available serial ports. On the D20, as we know, there is seven serial ports and they're identified by their label. So we've got S serial IO1 and then we've got serial IO2, serial IO3, serial IO4, serial IO5, serial IO6, and serial IO7. Okay, and we can basically make the ready to send signal drive the SSR1 output to a modem um, via these um, jumpers. So jumper Z12 will allow serial IO1 RTS to drive the SSR1 if we set jumper 1 or Z12 on uh, position 1 and 2. If we set it to position 2 and 3, then uh, SSR2 will be driven by the RTS signal of serial IO1. Uh, so again, if we set it to position 1 and 2 on Z12, that means that the RTS on serial IO1 will drive the SSR1. If we set it to position 2 and 3, then the ready to send signal from serial IO1 will drive SSR2. The same applies for jumper Z13 through Z18, where Z13 will be relevant to serial IO2. So if we set Z13 to position 1 and 2, that means that the RTS signal from serial IO2 will set up, will uh, control the SSR1. If we set it to position 2 and 3, it means the, the ready to send signal will control SSR2 and so on. So Z14 is applicable to serial IO3, uh, Z15 is applicable to serial IO4, uh, Z16 is applicable to serial IO5, Z17 is applicable to serial IO6, and Z18 is applicable to serial IO7.